What is up, my happy fam? Listen, I'm so sorry, but for the past, what is it, three, four days, I have had the flu. How do I know it was the flu? Because I've had the flu before, and it sucks. It just sucks. It really does. Anywho, um... Yeah. I'm sorry I haven't been on, but I've just been feeling so poopy. And I haven't been able to stay awake. And when I say poopy, I I mean... It's, it, it was bad. Like... I... I had to apologize to my toilet. So anyway, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, some help. <laughs> um, while I was down and out, between my moments of lucidness and unconsciousness, I was praying. For various reasons. <laughs> and actually, I had a revelation about prayer that kind of made me stop and think a little bit. Because we all do it. We all have these ideas about prayer. And God just kind of, it's almost like he sat down next to me and he's like, uh, could we talk? Because I don't, I don't think you understand what prayers for. I was like, well, I mean, I, I thought I did, but I, I'll listen, because I, I, I like learning. I love to learn. What you got? He goes, and he says this to me. Prayer doesn't change things. Prayer changes people. I just happened to be on Instagram and I scrolled by it and I seen that and I went, huh, you know what? You're right. And there's a lot of conflicting information out there about prayer. And if you go to one certain congregation or one school of belief in Christianity, or the religion Christianity, not the relationship, but the religion Christianity, if you go to one specific group, they'll tell you one thing. And if you go to another specific group, they'll tell you another thing. Some will tell you that it's all up to you. Others will tell you it's kind of up to you. But it's really all God. If it's really all God, then how is it any way, shape, or form up to you? But when he said that to me, it kind of made me sit back and go, you know... We spend a lot of time praying for change. And I spend a lot of time talking about how prayer is a conversation. But we haven't really delved that deep into what prayer does. And I've been, for a long time, I wanted to talk about it. I've started several things, and a few times I've gotten uh, maybe like a, a, a good, quick little inspiration off of it. But I didn't get, I didn't get to the nitty gritty of what I was trying to say, and it's almost like there was something blocking me from saying it, and I knew it wasn't Satan. You know how sometimes you can just tell, you can tell Satan is a coming against you. This is not one of those moments. 
this was one of those moments I just kind of felt like it was almost like a gentle hand on my shoulder telling me in time. Just take it easy. These things take time. And, you know, I, I hemmed and I hawed. Yeah, God, but yeah, yeah, they need to know. Just take your time. This is special. You need to understand this, too. And this is the whole thing. I don't just have revelations for you guys. Any and every revelation that I receive from the Holy Spirit is meant for me. But he has allowed me to share these things with you because I'm not the only one who has these questions and hang-ups. I know this because I've met many atheists and heard from many atheists and from many people who are lost in religion, quote-unquote, who just don't understand. They don't grasp the nitty-gritty of what God is about. And that's my mission. That is my main mission on this channel is to spread the word and the message of God. And it's not just, hey, come to the Lord, be saved. It's, no. Come know the Lord. Because it doesn't say, come dip in the water and be saved, or come speak in tongues and be saved, or come eat this bread and drink this wine in my image and be saved. It says, seek ye the kingdom of God. And all these things shall be added unto you. The kingdom of God is made of God. Seek first God. To know him. And to be known by him. These are scriptures. I'm quick pro quoting them, but... These are found in scriptures. If you look them up, you know, put them in Google, you know, um, uh, to be known, to know God and to be known by God. It'll pull up the scripture because I, I read the Bible a lot, but I am horrible at quoting scripture. I know, like, maybe off the top of my head, like, five scriptures. Let me see. Jeremiah 29, 11. Isaiah 41, 10. John 3, 16. Okay, I, I overquoted it. I know three. Off the top of my head. Oh, thank you. Anywho, I'm getting away from the basis of what I was trying to say. Uh, in order to know God, you have to have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one that imparts revelation. And the revelation, or as I call them, inspirations, that God imparted me today was about prayer. And so this inspiration is titled, What Does Prayer Change? We all have a destiny, an assignment in the kingdom of God. Some are meant for great assignments. Others are meant for small assignments. And by great, I mean big. Not stature or status, but like... The breadth and depth. Not significance. Every one of us has a significant assignment in the, the eyes of God. We are made for purpose. I want you to understand that. Don't get it mixed up. You're not a tool. Your purpose is to worship God, which is an eternal thing, which means you have eternal worth. Your assignment, your calling, your anointing is what God intends you to do here on earth. So always remember that. Don't let anybody deceive you. You are worth more than what you do. Uh, let's see. Some are meant for great assignments, others are meant for small assignments, but each one has an integral part in the kingdom of God as much as the others. 
For years we have been told prayer changes things, but this is a cleverly disguised lie of the enemy. A lie intended to shift the focus of our faith from the one who has all the power to ourselves. Now before you go getting combative, allow me to explain. There is not a single prayer that I have prayed, personally, that changed anything in my life except me and my perception. Prayer is not a wish made to the heavens in hopes to manipulate the desired response and outcome from God, but a conversation with a friend that is closer than a brother. The saying prayer changes things is misleading for this very reason. So let's make a correction to it. Prayer changes people. This is more accurate because it focuses on what is really important to God, his people. God will not leave you without a reward for the troubles you face, but he also is looking for you to build a relationship with him. So when you pray, it's not a formula for success or forgiveness or salvation. It's the conversation between friends. Salvation is freely given to everyone. Not so you can so you don't go to hell, but so you can spend all eternity close to your best friend, Jesus Christ. Hell is punishment in the same way that a friend leaving you is punishment. They're not looking to hurt you, but you made it clear to them that you are only their friend because of what you get out of them. This is one of the reasons I believe God is silent with us sometimes. He's waiting to see how you respond. It's natural to freak out and believe that he is never going to speak to you again. Like, oh, Lord, what did I do? Did I mess up? I must have done something wrong. Let me do ten Hail Marys and the light this Jesus candle. No. It's okay. Go ahead, have your freak out session, but don't forget to go to him in prayer. He wants you to see, he wants to see you grow through that pain so that one day when he goes silent again, you won't freak out. You'll just keep talking to him because you know that if you keep praying, eventually he'll come back and start talking to you. This will be because you know he hasn't abandoned you, just that he is busy growing you or he is resting because he does that you know just look at Genesis chapter 1 it says right there in the scriptures God rested on the seventh day we need to start separating ourselves from traditional religion and start defining true Christianity for what it really is a deep interconnected relationship between God and his beloved creation. When you become close to him, then he will change everything. He will change everything. Seek ye first the kingdom of God is more than just a religious command. It is a promise because the kingdom of God is being closer to God than we have ever been. And the rest is added because he, the God who made everything and can give what he wills to whom he pleases, will provide our needs because he's a good father. This also brings me to another point that I would like to make when it says that he will give us the desires of our heart. It doesn't just mean that he gives us what he wants, what we want. It means he, help, he helps us shape those desires into things that are good for him and us. This means that we can be assured that if a desire wasn't fulfilled, it was for our good. And that if it is, that it was also good for us. Don't be so critical of yourself when it comes to God. He's not looking for robots to do his bidding. He's looking for friends to change the world with. 
The next time you pray, sit and tell God everything, how you feel, the funny, sad, rage-inducing, faith in humanity, restoring things you saw and experienced, what you're grateful for, what you're upset about, what you're angry about. Tell him everything. That's what prayer is for. Because then the Holy Spirit can come in and start giving you revelations. And I'm not talking like he sits there with a holy angel and he comes to you and he says, Thou shalt know. Dear, he's like a small whisper in the back of your head. And like he's sitting right beside you, maybe like a little bit behind you. And he comes up and he says, You know, I know you're a little confused about this, but let me let me give you something that'll help you. Something that'll make it a little easier to understand. And then he reveals this big secret, or what feels like a big secret, and you're sitting there, you're left there sitting going, Wow, is that easy? How do you miss that? And it says in the Bible that he keeps these secrets hidden from the learned. There are people who study the Bible, my friends, and don't know half of the junk, half of the insights that people who have a relationship with God and read their Bible to know Him have. Just let that sink in for a second. God loves you. Otherwise, why would He have made me? In any case, let me just check, oh gosh, the audio here. Yep, we're good on the audio. And then, I'm uh, gonna go get a drink real quick, and I shall return. Oh, day. So, I'm gonna go in there. Oh. I almost dumped something in my water. I'm so sad. What the huh? When you're done streaming, you should take the picture and send it to me. Send it to me, Mom? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Why don't you show her when you come back tomorrow? Or when she comes back tonight? Wow. I can tell time. Oh gosh. I forgot it does that. Mind you, do it. Right, you. right, that's right, that's right. So we're going towards this. Oh gosh. It's a new thing again. I hate the black books, bro. Oh, thanks. 
Really? Why would there be a mouse in there? This tower needs to stop yelling. Why am I... I am over encumbered. You've got to be fluffing me, dude. You're kidding. You, you're, you're kidding. I forget. Buttons! What is... You're too much funny. Thanks. What is going on? Listen, Happy Sam, my mom just does yoga. <laughs> what? <laughs> you do yoga every day! I don't do it every day. Yes, if I did it do. every day, I wouldn't be fat. Yes, you do! Why do I have a dwarven dagger? I don't remember picking that up. I'm trying to get back into it. Just as I started my new uh, exercise thing, I got sick. So we'll have to restart that. We'll do it tomorrow. Minor alchemy, water breathing. Why do I hold on to these? But you can put yoga on the TV. Yes, baby. I've got it all set up. She's like, she loves doing yoga with me. And no, we don't do the whole prayer things. We just do the movement stuff. Because like, uh, it is really good stretching. You get your purple seeds and I get my flower one. Dude, sapphire circlet. You get your purple one and I get my flower one. Alright, I was going to sell those. When you're doing yoga. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I have ropes. Okay, hang on. I gotta see how this looks. <laughs> it looks so weird. Okay. Haha. <laughs> I look weird. That's do. <laughs> I got such a conglomerate. That's much better. I like that better. Okay. Let's waddle our way back home. Because we have to. That's not your character who, who you're looking at. No. This is the character that I created for this uh, game. This is... Uh... What's that? This? It's one of their, uh, gods, little G. Okay. We have... Arma! Arr, here's... Let's go, boy. Take my fat butt home. Hi, baby. Oops, where is that? There it is. Raven Rock. Huh? Do do what? Your brother. Yeah. He's a little better at running these bots than I do at times, especially when it comes to doing things that you can do. <laughs> yeah. Look at that I ugly sucker. That he's still used to doing Right. Ride my horse through the town. Ride my horse through the town. Good boy, Arvac. Okay. Thank you, buddy. See you next time. Oh, 
Oh gosh, Jen. I do not need to see you right in my face every time, you know? That's disturbing. Alright, we're gonna waddle our way back down. Um, let's see. Alchemy. Alchemy would be over in this area, right here. So we will set it. Let's set it on this shelf right here. Let me drop that for a second. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. I have to figure this out now. Oh, 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 gosh. <laughs> Lord have mercy, she's just throwing. I don't want it to fall behind the thing. Oh. Maybe set it. Oh, perfect. Right there. That that works. It works, bro. It looks great. Okay. Let's see. What else can we put down? Where are oh the the Telvani? Let's put the Telvani stuff up. That would actually look really good with this one. I'm going to give you the Telvani robes. Perfect. Oh, that looks sick, bro. Okay, now he needs a staff. He needs a weapon. Uh, no, you got my back Storm Atronach. Ooh, I need that one, though. Oh, this should be perfect. That would look really cool with it, too. Oh, soul sucker. That's mine. Um, that does look sick. Okay, what else can we put there? Um, I need the storm after knock, though. I could put the uh, fishing rods away, though. That would not be a bad idea. So, maybe put them right in here. Wow. What is that? Oh, these guild armor. Bruh! Oops. I can't. <laughs> She's here. She's your spawn. Of course she is. <laughs> um. I think I might put that a oh, wall. The difference is real. Oh, what if we put, um, what if we put it, uh, I don't want that in there. We're gonna sell that. Uh, and we're gonna put, Oreo. Yes, I know you're Oreo, <gasps> where'd it go? Oh. Don't you dare. Oh, 
thick. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, dude. Gold diamond necklace. Um, that I'm selling. That I'm selling. I wish I could drop it, but I can't. I know I'm supposed to go talk to somebody about it, but I can't remember. Wait. Isn't it the the the, the old crotchety? Y'all are loud. Jazz. Booga bean, sweetheart. Not while I'm streaming, honey. It's too loud. Uh, I've got a lot of staffs. What is this? Staff of Revenants. Staff of Repulsion. Staff of Flames. You know, a staff of... Uh... <laughs> Lightning Bolts wouldn't be far off for this. Okay. And good day. Oh. Nice. Okay. Now I need... <laughs> I need black fire black. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Okay. Um. I know I have the Thieves Guild armor in here. I think what I might do is put it on this guy. Because that's... I gotta quit doing that. It says A right there. It says that right there. Push A. It's getting real bad. Actually, that does look really cool. Okay. Well, things in my face. Let's see, which one was it? This one. Let's put our ingredients away. Oh, wow. That is a lot of ingredients. Don't worry, fam. He's not hurting her. She's just being dramatic. I promise you. Ooh, danger. I can make arrows. I gotta go pull that back out. <laughs> Don't be a butt. Okay, let's do some enchanting real quick. Uh, I don't... This one. Yes, definitely. Ooh, I'll do that. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm okay. Gosh, dude. <laughs> You're torturing me. You will not put me in the garbage again. I can't. I can't. Hey. Language.
was so angry. There's no hope, fam. No hope. She just does not stop, bro. Diamond, ebony, emerald, amethyst, emerald, garnet, sapphire, garnet, gold, gold, gold. Alright, stone. I don't know her. Skull. I can't put it away, can I? Dang it. I wanna put it down. You know, I got to thinking. I wonder if I became ethereal. If I'd be able to do more damage. What am I doing? No idea what that is. Do I know what that is? I don't think I know what that is. Dang, bro! I had a lot on me. Okay. need to find the rest of Jib's opus. It's so nauseous looking at that every time. Do you see what I mean? There's no hope. She won't stop. Wait. What just happened? What did I do, Jen? Crap, I'm gonna have to go back and watch what I did. Biscuits! Okay. We've been putting stuff away for like 10 minutes now. We gotta go! Adventure! Oh, please stop! Oh, that's right, I was gonna sell stuff. There's nobody here to sell to me. Okay. Cool! I can never tell when it's day or night here. Do you see what I put up with, fam? This is non-stop. She... Let me out! She does not leave her daddy alone, bro. Even when they start to get annoyed with each other, she still goes at him. She has no self-restraint. None! You hear me? No self-restraint. I'll do for a second that looked like a giant bent over. We don't have time. We must find the black book. 
which will be an ordeal in and of itself. Mostly because Arvec, while well, he's a good horse, he's very slow. Uh, this is where the Reavers are. I don't want to play with the Reavers today. Jazz! Enough! No more, please! She doesn't even freaking listen, bro. She never listens to me! Like, ever! No respect, I tell you. No respect. Rodney Dangerfield. Friends, if you don't know who he is, please look him up. He's fucking awesome. Dude had me cracking up. Oh yeah. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oops. Where are we going? In the complete opposite direction. Which means I need to go around the mountain. Wait. The Congreg? What'd you do for a pecan break bar? <sighs> okay. Bye bye, Arifax. See you next time. You will not see me. Oh. Oh, that's right. He fights the dragger. I'll take that. Don't need that. Um... Hey. What? What? Where? Yeah. She's fine. Ooh. Okay. What would you do for a congregate bar? I know that's not how you pronounce it. <gasps> but I don't know how to pronounce it, so... Um... First of all... Hello? Okay. Um... Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. What's in here? Hello? Oh, this is where we come out. Oh. Jen? Jen. Jen, I've made a mistake. I need you... What the? Please. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Huh? Jen. Janessa! Move your fat butt! Back it up. Back it. Back it up. Come on. 
Back the dumpy up. What the? Janessa! Keep going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Come on, one more. One more. Thank you. Yeah, fat booger. Empty. Oh, dude. Speaking of dumpy, I need to take a dumpy. Good thing we're almost done. Nice. Yeah. Oh, fam. Ooh. I got flippied around. Hello? Oh, that's rude. Goodbye. Oh, I missed him. How I miss him. Bye. I so sneaky he don't see me. Oh, you're ugly. Ooh, I take that. Oh. I'll take that and that. <sighs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he possessed. <gasps> yep. What? I call shenanigans. Come on, I had him. For real, bro. That's infuriating. Us? Yeah. Oh, he's back up there. I was gonna say, don't you dare tell me that. Got him. Oh, yes, please come out here. <laughs> yes! Got him! Ooh, that felt good. Okay. You have to remember small movements. Nice. Yeah. No, be stupid. Okay. We are good. What you got in here, buddy? A bellows. And these guys will hoard anything. I'll take that. That's worth something. But the rest of it's not. Empty. I should have looked. I should have looked and seen whether it was empty or not. But I don't pay attention. I don't listen. I don't walk. I don't... I don't... I mean, look. <laughs> I don't walk, fam. <laughs> hmm. Don't you follow too closely, Jen. We'll have an an another incident like earlier where you get me stuck. Yes. Yeah. Where are these little boogers at? They are down further. Okay. Cool. Ooh. There you learn. Ooh. Empty. See how easy that was? All I had to do was look. Do I look? Absolutely not. 
I don't pay attention. I don't give a flying hootis. Lower tusk. Don't need that. That's useless. Meh. I'll take that. Definitely don't need the weight. What do we got here? Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. There is a gourd in that bucket. I don't know why they have a gourd in the bucket, but they have a gourd in the bucket. There's a gourd in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a gourd in the bucket, dear Liza, gourd. That's from Oklahoma. Watch the play, it's better than the movie. Though the movie wasn't bad. There's the bristleback. Ooh, two board tusks and gold. Nice! Ugh. Mushrooms. Did you guys know that I am sensitive to mushrooms? And I just found out today that there are mushrooms that mimic meat. I might be in trouble. Okay, we got five more minutes. Jen! Stop! It's obnoxious, dude. You're like literally in my anal sphincter. Like we got three, four, five, six. There's three in this chamber. Ooh, wheat. Empty. Wheat, wheat. Don't need the bowl. Don't need the salt pile. Don't need the charcoal. That's broken. Okay. Go slow, Jen. I don't need them running up on you and seeing me. Let's find out where yeah. they are. Radar. Hmm. It's close. Not that close. Oh, he's right there. Can't you see me? <laughs> you coming up too, buddy? Please do. Three more minutes. How far can we get, fam? This might actually be as far as we get for now. We're probably gonna have to save the rest for next time. I know you wanted to see me go into the black book, but eh. maybe next time. What do you think, Jen? Uh, do we have anything up here worth having? No, not really. Okay, so uh. I by the way, I remember that I had said we were going to do um, Apex with Jakey. Problem is, is that his Apex is flipping out tonight. So we weren't able to do it this time. That is not to say that we won't do it. We'll probably do it tomorrow. He is just... We are struggling, fam. And I don't mean like... 
Oh my gosh, we're so poor. No, our just our internet sucks, okay? Every every streamer oh, right, wrong button. Every streamer has a problem. If they say they don't, they might be lying. I'm not gonna call anybody out, I'm just saying. Um and yeah. It sucks. So we deal yes. yeah. with internet issues. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on how our good natured butthole internet decides it wants to be. I will take all of that. Thank you. Ooh, there's stuff over on that plate, too. Oh, I didn't mean to take all that. We'll sort it out later. I'll take those. You can keep that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um. Ooh, a sapphire. So tomorrow, Saturday, is Baby Chew Saturday. If she behaves. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Saturday, I have to do school. Yes, but we can do school and still do streaming. That's the cool thing about your school. So, we'll pause it right here. I promise you I won't touch it anymore. Um, like I said, tomorrow's Baby Chew Saturday. I do hope that you'll all join us. It's me and Baby Chew playing Roblox. I'll make sure her tablet is charged up tonight, unless she decides in the middle of the night to take it off. Because she wakes up and doesn't want to go back to sleep. Um, and then after that, we'll be playing Apex with Jakey. And then Sunday, I I usually take and rest anyway, so I won't see you guys again until Monday. And I'm kind of trying to find some more games to play. What about <laughs> the one animal game like my my Uncle Jakey has? She's been trying to get me to play Party Animals. Yes! Party I love Party Animals. I just didn't know if it was available yet. Anywho, if it is, we might be playing Party Animals. Because I did like... I watched the gameplay and I thought it was actually quite hilarious. And maybe I can get Jakey to play with us on that too. Alright, so. With that being said. Thanks all for coming. I hope that today's message blessed you. If you didn't get to hear it, do please go back and listen to it um it's actually a really good insightful inspiration and I'm not saying that like touting my own ability I'm saying that because when God revealed it to me through the Holy Spirit it was kinda like one of those aha moments I finally understood okay honey hold on are you going to say goodbye with me, or are you just going to take off? I'm coming. Okay. So, with that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Ready? Yep. God bless, peace, and be happy, fam. Bye. Bye.